After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops is me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out this jail tonight. Just get me out. I started off with the department as a civilian employee. I went through the academy, and I've been a commissioned officer ever since 2002, and I love it. It's a wonderful career. I can't imagine doing anything else. It's got a lid on it. I asked you if you had something sharp, and you I lied to me. What do you call this? It's called a f needle. Take it to a stripper out. You were going to. Hey, don't squeeze my hand like that, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Stop resisting. I apologize. I'm not digging it with the hypes on her. Stand up, man. Another one? Okay. You won't hold your hands still, so I'm going to hold them still for you. Well, you've already kicked me once. We don't want to get kicked again, right? You know what? You want to? You want to just put her in the chair? We'll strip her, her afterwards. She comes in. She's going through the pat down search. Officer Joyner asked her if she had anything sharp on her, on her person. She said no. And during the pat search, Officer uh, Joyner felt something in her in her bra, and it turned out it was two hypodermic needles. So. You guys are really doing this over nothing. Three needles is nothing, and kicking an officer. Do you realize you committed a felony? You were on my pinky, dude. Tell him, I love to tell him, dude, it hurt. Was it kicking you to hurt you? I ain't from town, do this. I saw her kick you. I she just tried kick. to kick again. Okay. I did? Okay, but I saw her kick you. Okay. Go ahead and rebook her. All right. So if Is she's in, so for whatever she's in, she's in here for, she's in here for a felony now. How did you make contact with her? Uh, switch this vehicle stop over at Fort Apache. She was hanging out with one of her friends, and uh, mm -hmm. he had some pills in the car. And then uh, she had a warrant, so we're taking her for a warrant. I told her, if you have anything else, let me, you know, let me know. And uh, she let me know. Got, got down here, and you found them. Obviously, you found them in a bra, so. That's a place you would not have found Yeah, them. I wasn't going to dig it in there. No. <laughs> She's going to sit in the chair for a period of up to two hours. Hopefully, she'll calm down, and we'll be able to complete our search. And hopefully, there's no more needles on her. Face that way. Anything sharp on you? I have a cell phone and an electric thing there. A an electric thing? A, a stun gun? gun? Yeah. Really? Yeah. A stun gun yeah, right here. That's all. Okay. That's yeah. neat. Thanks for telling me. And they have her uh, stuff where she's coming from. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Why do you carry a stun gun around? Is it a bad neighborhood? Or too bad else? neighborhood? Did you, did you not give it to the when the officer They're asked you? They didn't ask for it. Okay. I don't know if that's one. I don't know if that's one we can um, keep it because that doesn't come apart. The battery yeah. doesn't dis. She has a she has a taser in her bra. It's a taser. <laughs> what what is in her bra? That? That's the second one we've seen tonight. Oh, it does work. Did he ask you if you had any weapons? No, he specifically didn't know I told him. He didn't ask you if you had any weapons on you. No, he was asking for drugs. He was asking if there's a hooker. Uh huh. Oh, he asked for needles, too. But And so you answered no, because you didn't have needles. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't think to tell him about the taser? Yes, it That's kind of a big thing. What There's was her us. original charge? Walking on a roadway. That's why she was stopped originally. That's why she was stopped originally. And then there was this, this ID, when you run it in DMV, says that uh, it's not a valid form of identification for whatever reason. So because we couldn't identify her, we brought her down here to fingerprint her. Make sure she didn't have any warrants? Right, because, yeah. you know, people lie. Yes, they do. Sometimes. Yes, Not they all the do. time. Sometimes, at least once a night. And so we're going to be releasing her. Are you going to be giving her a citation for this charge? No. Or? I'm just going to end up just driving her back. I think we've used up enough of her time. OK. Right? Right. Yeah. No warrants. Nothing. And Never been arrested before in her life. And this is her first time in no jail. one got tased. <laughs> all right, thank you. Next time, even if they don't ask you, and you have a weapon on you, it's a good idea to tell them, OK? It's, just, it's about safety. It's not about you getting in trouble. It's about safety so nobody gets hurt. You understand? Yeah, I understand, understand? perfectly. We okay. took care of it, and when you're going home. OK, you're going to go with him. Walk over there. Bye. He's a little upset with her because she didn't inform him. He's going to give it back to her. 
after he lets her out of the car. She's not going to be holding it while she's in the no, car. No, that wouldn't even be a good idea. Yeah. I want to talk to you about this incident with the I mean, you had two empty hypes that were in your bra that had blood in them. Yeah. So they, they were, were used. Yeah, they were. And then right. one that was loaded, ready to go. I mean, it's been in there for a while. Yeah, no. I got it today. I was asking you for safety purposes I so know. that nobody got stuck. I started panicking because like, everybody in there. I did four years before already. Four years where? Prison? Uh -huh. How old are you now? 24. 24 and you've done four years in prison? What would, what did you serve time for? Uh, for prison. Possession of drugs. Okay. I wish you luck. I hope you can turn this around. Yeah, I, I don't know. She's already done four yeah, years in prison, I, and she's uh, as young as she is, and she has a nine-year-old daughter. She has a child that obviously somebody else is taking care of. Right. She has family, but chooses not to be with them. Mm -hmm. She chooses to come out here and hook up with perfect strangers right. and get involved in the drugs again after she did four years for drugs in prison. It's a shame. Very unfortunate She's because a there's a nine-year-old kid out there wanting his mom. Wanting his mom. You're right. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. Before I come to night shift, usually starts with a great workout at the gym. Boxing is one of my favorite sports. It relieves tension, stress. Uh, this job can be very stressful. People sometimes take it home. So I generally don't take my stressors home. I don't take this job home at all. I take it to the gym, let it all out, and start over again. This way. Look straight ahead. What'd you get arrested for? <laughs> Battery? I don't even uh -oh. know. I didn't even do it. You didn't do it? No. I'm Who not did even it? a mean person. I'm so nice. I'm, I'm as gay as they come. I'm so nice. I believe you. Oh. You've been nice to me. Yeah, you just want to go to my mama. Domestic violence? No, DUI. Oh. The construction zone, roll in the ditch. Oh, OK. Sit up, Tony. You're going to get seen by the medical, OK? EMT. I want you to come over here. You're going to be all right. Come on. No, it's not all right. I'm in jail. Well, That's not OK. Happens. Come on. So I am? Yeah, I want you to go all the way to the end so you can be seen by medical, OK? Yes. All the way down. Okay. So you brought in Tawny. Yeah. I went to an accident. There's a single vehicle. Um, when I got there, it was she drove probably about a quarter mile through a construction site. Yeah, on a, on a, her tire was basically blown out and then just completely obliterated. Oh she kept going. We got her in custody. And so it was a DUI with accident, yeah. but a single vehicle She's involved. a complete mess. Yeah, yeah she is. And she's 20 or 21, so she's underage she's drinking yeah, as well? she's underage drinking. You know, she said she had vodka. She doesn't even remember how much she had, but um, it's obviously way too much. Wow. She, luckily, okay. she didn't hurt herself or anybody else. All right, thank you. No, 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 no. Tawny, what's the matter? Because I'm little and I'm a girl and I do not belong here. I'm a oh, little girl. I'm not little, I'm a but little I'm a girl. girl. You're a little girl? How old are you? <laughs> I just want to go home. Well, you're going to be fine. No more crying, OK? Yes, ma'am. I'll suck it up. I'm sorry. OK. Yeah, that's exactly what you should suck it up. You'll be all right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How old are you? I'm 22. I don't look like that. No, you look like you should be in juvie. I know. What did you get arrested for? DUI. D oh. Have you been arrested before for DUI? No. Never. Never you know you get You know you get arrested and convicted three times, it's a felony. It's kind of early to already be a... It was open bar. Drinking and driving. All right, let's go in here. Is he a blood drop? Oh, OK. You're not going to throw up, are you? If you I'm throw good, up. I'm not good needles. No, no, there's no throwing up. She's really good. I actually trust her. Why is it all men are afraid? 
I'm sorry. Look that way. Look that way. Breathe on me again. We're not allowed to be drunk at work, you know. I can get tattoos, but I can't do this. Yeah. Relax. Relax. You just had a whole bunch of drinks. You should be relaxed. It's hard. My dad died of an overdose, so. So what does that have to do with me? Needles. Needles. Oh, he was, he shot up? Yes. Okay. Well. It's one thing for me to. And you'll be glad that I'm good at this. Call me on second floor, please? So now you're breathing. Lady, I'm trying to do anything right now. All right, you're going to be fine. Hey, Coke. That's it. Okay. Simple enough. There's no more poking. You need to relax your fist. Okay, you're all done. You don't do what you did anymore. Okay, stand up. I'm all done with you, so you can have a seat in the front row, okay? Pull your pants up, though. Hey, I actually lost weight. Thank you, though. All right, I'm going up. <laughs> There's an open seat in the first row. Have a seat in the first row. I think it's sinking in now. DUI is not a joke. Hope I don't see him here again. All right, Tawny, come on in. It's been about an hour and a half. It's like the, the looks of where the alcohol's wearing off. So we'll get her booking photo taken. So, Tony, what happened last time you were in here? I got in, into a fight with my ex-girlfriend. She punched me in the head, and she called the cops. I only known her for a month, I mean a week, before I moved here. here. Look up here. Why'd you move in with her? <laughs> because Why? I thought that she, you know, had a nice ass, had a nice <laughs> thought I was in love with her. <laughs> Sorry for oh. my language, but, you know. Young and stupid. I see. So I told her to go. And now? No more, uh... And now I'm just going to school. No more girls. No more dumb girls. The girls are trouble, huh? The girls are trouble. All right. Okay, go have a seat, Tony. We'll call you back in Over here there? in a little bit. No, back where you were. They'll call you back in in a few minutes, okay? She's only been in CCDC once. But she keeps it up this way. She'll end up with a long list of photos, just like the rest. All right. Tammy, I spoke with your mother. All the information checked out. We're going to go ahead and release you on your own recognizance. You get out without having to post any money. It's get out of jail free card. It's the easiest way to put it. Jail out of free, you mean you got to pay later? No. No. Just show up to court, though. Yes, ma'am. If you don't show up to court, then they'll issue a, a warrant for your arrest, OK? All right, Tony. Good luck. Do I go back over there and sit down? Yeah, go right back to your seat, OK? She lucked out. She gets to go home soon and not have to put up any money. Some of the mistakes will stay with you, and DUI is one of them. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about nine years now, and been part of the Special Emergency Response Team, our CERT team here. We're in charge of taking care of disruptive inmates, cell extractions, riots, high-risk transports. The first time I came here, I saw these guys wearing these uniforms, and I said, I want to be a part of that. And I tested for it, made it, and now I'm a team leader, so I love it. More, more, more. We just had a code called for an officer emergency up in our disciplinary housing, so we're responding upstairs. Watch your step. Get out the doors, guys. Get out the doors. Get out the door. Get a chair. Lock your feet up. Get out the door, gentlemen. Get off the door. Get some shackles. Get out the door, 2-1. Get out the doors. Get out the doors. Stand them up. Walk them out. Get the door. Walk. Keep your head down. Don't look up. Keep your head down. Touch your mouth. Control. Just nose a little bit. Check his knuckles real quick. 
Looks like they got into it, had a little bit of a fight, so we're going to take it to our isolation housing now. What was that about, man? Oh, I've been waiting to get that P throw work, and that's the only way I can do it. I ain't had a report since I've been here. I'm here for murder. Were you guys out here on free time me? together? Or? No, he was, I've been waiting for him to get medication the same time I'm not. Okay. Find this guy next door. Yeah. The P throw so there were, is there a medication pass? Yeah. So he's been throwing urine and all stuff, and he's next door to you, right? They, the, the cops even know about it. Um, he puts it out blatantly. They're going to patch it down real quick. So you're going to go up and talk to the officers, see what happened? Yeah, for, before I do any of that, um, he's got a, a black mark on his right hand in the palm area. Might be lead or possibly ink from a pan. I'm not sure there was a weapon used in the attack, but that would be very good evidence. When we get out, you can do your clothes on it. So I think right. we should go back and search the area to see if we can find anything that's been a weapon. We were kind of fiddling around over here, and we were doing the med pass over there. And then he was kind of like just, and every now and then, next thing you know, it's like we're over here. You can't really see him because of the angle. And he was like, boop, came right around us, right into the room. And he was on free time, right? He was on free time, yes. Did he have a pen in his hand? No, I didn't see anything in his hand. I mean, he does have his pens and stuff. Is there any with the ends removed? No, not this one. Yeah. I just want to look around yourself. A possible weapon. Was he hitting you in the body or just the face? Uh, I was asleep. Okay. Can you lift your shirt up for me? Ah, it hurts. Can you lift your shirt up though? It hurts in my neck. Okay. <laughs> Can you stand up, please? Yeah. What's up with painkiller? Turn around. Turn around. Get to your face. Just got hit. Good. No, that's a cut. Yeah. No, I'm serious, like right there. Yeah, a cut. That would be from a finger now. Well, All right, have a seat. So what happened? Oh, um, I was asleep. And the officers came to give you your medication, right? Yeah. Okay. And then as Officer Allison Drini said, there was a blur of blue as he came in the room and attacked you. Is that right? Copy. I was asleep. OK. And then? Then I woke up. So that was it. You were just asleep. And all of a sudden, you were still asleep. No, I'm awake now. Right, but then? And now, since I'm awake, my neck and my back hurts. OK. My neck, my back, and my arm hurts. Just now I'm awake, but before I was asleep. Okay. Thank you. I thought that was a good Curious. possibility of a, you know, use of a weapon. Yeah. Which would add more severity to the charges. Yep. All right. He took an opportunity. He's here on some serious charges. Yeah. So he doesn't have anything He's to lose anyway. Lose. Yeah. Okay. So. Just an assault then, no deadly weapon involved. No. This guy was the primary attacker, so I need to ask him a few questions and I'll hopefully determine if we're going to rebook him and we're going to do the uh, in-house discipline on him. Perry, I'm Sergeant Walquist. How are you? Good. Uh, what happened in the fight today with, with the other guy? Oh, you mean I'm being charged for that? I, don't, I haven't decided yet. I don't know yet. But before I question that, you, I got to ask many, this. How many years would that be? It could be anywhere one to six years for battery well, by prison. Yeah, well, yeah. I just want to know what happened. Why'd you fight with him? I didn't really consider it a fight. He wanted to throw pee, so he paid the price. Did he throw pee at you? Yeah. Okay. What, so under the door? I've been waiting for my chance to get, get at the pee thrower. So you went in there, how many times you hit him? Um, only uh, twice, but I know that one time I did, because um, I felt it, this one went in his eye. Oh, ah, OK. Um, use a weapon or anything? Pen, nothing like that. What was the ink spot on your left hand? Um, they, uh, well, you can give me some charges for that, too. I don't care. Um, they gave me a pen uh, this morning, and um, I want to see if it wrote. 
Oh, okay. So it was just a test to see if it wrote. All right. Anything else you need to tell me? No. Cool. All right. Thanks. He admitted that he fought with him. He said why he did it. So um, I'm pretty well convinced we'll go ahead and rebook now on top of the in-house discipline. And uh, carries one to six, so we'll see what happens. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night. Some nights get really busy, and when there's a lot going on, I have to be aware of who I'm patting down, who's behind me, and what I need to do. And my partners and I, we become like a precision team where we know exactly what's going on and what we need to do without even having to talk to each other. Straight out here. Over here, ma'am. Is that your robe or are you in karate? Come here. Face the wall. You know anything sharp on you? Knives, needles, razor blades, safety pins? Just my brain. <laughs> OK. I guess we can get her some clothes, huh? Hello? Up on the wall. Put your yeah. hand up on the okay. wall. Sorry. It's all right. Bad. It's okay. Just listen to direction, okay? So I wasn't out there when you got arrested. What did you get arrested for? At the cops. They brought me here. Josefina. I can't. I'm asking you. Here, put this shirt on. Somebody tried to kill me. Did you try to defend yourself? What? Yes, of course. Okay. How did you do that? A here, bit put of, your shirt on. No, put your put shirt on. Put the shirt on, ma'am. Oh. You brought Josefina in? I did. What happened with her tonight? Well, I encountered her at Lake Mead and Jones. Um, she was in a cab, and she was in the front seat of the cab, and she was actively uh, hitting the cab driver with her fists. Oh, my. She resisted me taking her to custody as well, mm -hmm. so here we are. Her side of the story is when she got in the cab, he got on the radio and said, I've got her. And uh, she took that as a threat, evidently. Oh. And I explained to her at the scene, I said, well, do you think that maybe he was letting dispatch know that he successfully picked his fare up? Right. And she didn't believe that. She thought he was going to kill her, something like that. So. so what did you end up officially charging her uh, with? Then? The charge is battery, but there's a, a taxi driver enhancement, oh, okay. which moves it from a misdemeanor to a gross misdemeanor. OK. OK, thank you. All right. Oh, my OK, here, step over here. Uh, a domestic violence. I dumped a jar of tomato sauce over his head. Did you? Is that what's on your back? And it was cold, and they claimed it was hot. You think a man could handle it? It should have been sexy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> could have been a hot moment, huh? Doesn't tomato sauce stain? Yes, tomato sauce does stain. But you know, tomato I asked sauce, him tomato what kind sauce. Of noodles yeah. He wanted, and he didn't answer fast enough. I was that. Tomato sauce is really good if you get sprayed by a skunk, though, right? You take a tomato sauce bath. Is you that asked, true? You asked him what kind of noodles he wanted, and he didn't answer fast <laughs> yeah. enough, so you dumped it over his head. Oh, that, that really wasn't it. Oh, but okay. It'll make a nice scenario. How's that? <laughs> okay. I got a year to do Thanks. now. Okay. A I don't year. know. All right, walk down to the medical the medical desk. What happened with Sandra tonight? Uh, basically, she's being arrested for domestic violence. This okay. is her third offense, so it makes it a felony. So basically, she got in a fight with her boyfriend and scratched him and uh, threw some spaghetti sauce on him, I guess. So, so that really happened, the spaghetti sauce? Yep. Over his head? Yep, over his head. Was it on there when you showed up? Yeah, it was all over the floor in the kitchen. You could see that the stove was still on, so it was hot. She's been drinking. I'm not sure if he has or not, okay. but, uh, but the main thing is that they've been together for a while and got in a fight, so. He hit me first, and I'm the one in jail. Are you dating him? Or does he live with you? I lost my husband three years ago, mm -hmm. and we kind of hooked up. Yeah. We don't get along so well. Oh. Sandra, did you have anything to drink tonight? Yes. What'd you have? Yes, ma'am. What'd you have? Beer. OK, how many? I don't know. I lost count. Too much On beer her? OK. On. 
Too Sandra, much. walk with me while we're talking. Yeah. Okay. With too much beer going on. I called the cops. Can you believe this? That's why we go to court and you get to tell your side of the story in court to the judge. Where do I go? This way. Oh, She's going to be okay. All right. Have a seat, Sandra. Just try to okay. relax. I'm not going to do a year over a jar of tomato sauce. Right. I'm bleeding not guilty. Not guilty? Okay. It was a crime. That's for you to tell the judge when yes. you go to court. You're going to have your day in court. Yes, I hope so. Yes. <laughs> Too bad you can't enjoy it. Why did I want to enjoy it? <laughs> disgusting. Like, seriously? Oh, yeah. Nasty. You are nasty. You got that right. <laughs> you got that right, darling. <laughs> You're disgusting. You're a disgusting human being. You gotta be nice and calm, Josephine. Just... She's stuck in No, she started it. Let me help you out. You go and sit in that red chair over there a little bit further Thank away from you. her. That's what I tried to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have you move over because yeah. I want to avoid a conflict. Thanks. This woman's been cleared by our psychologist. We'd be able to put her away in a side cell. She needs, she's had some alcohol involved, but she's obviously not fully uh, aware of what's going on. So we're gonna put her away from her own safety and safety of our staff. Hey, what happened earlier with the cab driver? What was that about? I don't know if he says I got her. Who was he saying that to? To somebody, I don't know. The I cab? tried to get out. Okay. He just locked the doors. Oh. I feel like running. She's a world traveler. Do you can send us a postcard, Josefina. Let's get so to know your roommates. <coughs> Pardon us. Excuse us, ladies. New girl. New girl here. Watch out for her. Put your knees up. Put your knees on this bench. Knees. Put your knees up on the... My what? Knees. knees. Put your knees up there. Okay. So are we going to lay down on the ground or are we going to kneel up on the bench? We're going to lay down on the ground. Okay, Josefina. I'm going to stay Sorry. in front of the no. police. No. Lay down. Lay down on the ground. Lay down. down. Ow! Bring Ow! your knees up. Nobody's hurting you. Bring your knees up. Lay down. Nobody's hurting you. Hurry. Oh, get God. down on the ground. Good. Josefina. I love you. We love I you, love too. You. Lay down. Lay I down. Love you. Love there you go. There you go. You're almost there. Come on. I love you. OK, we'll just turn around. I love you. Watch your head. I love you. Stop. Yes, stop. No. Stop. 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 I don't. Uh, I do love you. I love you. You're the best. You would be my God. You stay uh, just like that until we walk out of the door, OK? I love you. Holy drama queen. I don't know that we're going to get a postcard now, though. <laughs> no, I think you're really going to get a postcard now. I've been with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about nine years now. And I've seen a lot of people come here from out of town. They see the commercials, they hear the stories, and it's always the same story. I thought you could do anything in Vegas, and no, that's not how it works out. So when they come in here, they're kind of surprised that they got arrested for things. But well, not everything you do here stays in Las Vegas. Face the wall. Spread your feet and face the wall. Don't be moving around a lot. Uh, you? Uh, can't go to sleep. What's your first name? Lewis. Lewis? Lewis. Can't take a piss? Yeah, as soon as I get done searching you. What happened to your face? Yeah, you ass. Yeah, beat me up. Face the wall. Face the wall. You cat. The cops beat me up. Come on, come on. Walk back this way. This way. You Have a seat, okay. relax. What's your last name, sir? What's this guy in for, the one you brought in? Well, we got hailed down by a couple citizens out there saying some guy was walking out in traffic up on the boulevard at the Strip, and they felt like he was intentionally trying to hurt himself. So we came across him. It could tell he's very intoxicated. Public intoxication? Yep. Just uh, public nuisance, doing crazy things when he's drunk. Yeah, thanks. Hey, bro. Can you get your cuffs on? Ready here. Not yet. Just got in there, you need to cool down a little bit, right? Go on in there. Go on in there. No, let's take him off a little bit. Can I take a piss? We will, in a little bit. I can't take a piss? Not yet. We'll be back. Piss! Come on. 
dude. Relax. Yeah. Get the restraint chair for him. Relax. That wasn't necessary. Good thing it was. Not this time, sir. What did we tell you? As soon as you cool down, obviously. Ah, uh, well. Right. He's active this day. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. All right, once that's on, let's give him a chair. Ready? Come on, sir, stand up. I got you. Scoot back a little bit. Put your hands down. I can't Put your take hands a piss. down. Put your hands down. Put your hands down behind your butt. I can't take a piss. We were talking about that a minute ago, Lester. But you decided to come at me. Put your at head the door. back. Damn. Oh, man. Woo! I'm gonna put Lester over by the uh, pat down area until he cools down a little bit more. Since he walked in the door, he's had a bad attitude. He's gonna be sitting in there for a little bit until he cools down. I'll check on him periodically until Lester calms down and we're able to get him out of the chair. So it's totally up to him. Time to get Lester out of the chair. See if uh, he's still a little upset, but we're gonna try to put him aside some. All right. Okay. Get back, sir. Hold on, they'll help you up. All right. All right. Stand up, man. Put your feet on the ground. Stand up, course. Go up on the bench right here, sir. <clears throat> Same thing up. as before. Put your knees up there. Cross your ankles. Listen, we're gonna take the cuffs off. Oh. Okay, sir. Comply with our instructions. Lester. Yes. Sir. Earlier, when we told you to stay on the bench, yes, sir. okay, we were in the same situation. Yes, okay, sir. you decided to stand up yes, sir. and come towards the door at me. No, no, sir. Lester, you did. You're still a little upset. We're gonna leave you in here. No banging. Don't yes, try to hurt yourself or anything can like I, that, all right? Can, can I finish first? Can I finish first? They're yes, controlling sir. you because of your own actions, all right? Yes, sir. We're going to walk out of here, same thing. You're going to stay on that bench until the door closes, OK? Yes, sir. Any other sign will be a sign of aggression, all right? Yes. We'll have to do what we have to do, OK? Yes, sir. Stay there, follow the officer's instructions, OK? OK, sir. Stay in that position until we leave the room, you hear me? Yes, sir. Good job, guys. We'll see if he cools down. If not, we'll just come back and deal with him again. But hopefully he does. Hopefully he learned a lesson. A lot of people think that Vegas is the adult playground where they can come and pretty much get away with anything. And people don't realize is that this is a normal community. A lot of young, young girls come here. They get involved in prostitution. They think it's easy money. For a lot of them, it is easy money. They start getting arrested. And, you know, they end up in jail. So it's like jail anywhere else. It just happens to be in Las Vegas. Separate your feet. Got a little bit of ink, huh? How old are you? 23. You started young, huh? Yeah. What about jewelry? Yeah. Here, so the doctor come out, but as you can see, they're getting infected. All right, you're going to go see medical now, okay? Right over here, you're going to walk down that aisle all the way down to the end, okay? All the way down. It appears that she solicited six undercover detectives, so charging her with six counts. $2,400? Wow. For what? That's her asking price. Six guys, one girl, that's pretty busy. It is pretty busy. Well, she wouldn't need to work the rest of the month. Or at least the rest of the night. Oh. Stevie's got some piercings that are embedded into her flesh. They appear to be a little bit infected, so. If you're here for a while, they'll set you with some antibiotics for your cold and for your plugs, all right? All right, you know, see it again, thanks. 
She's got warrants in the city jail, and she's got six counts, $1,200 each count. It's all misdemeanor stuff, but it's going to be expensive. I'm not doing nothing. I got to go. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not even doing nothing. I'm not even doing anything. He slammed my arm in the door, dude. All right, calm, calm down, down now. What is y'all doing? Stand still. Why are you pulling on my hair? Why are you yelling? Because I'm not even doing nothing. Quit yelling. You're yelling. I hear you. So they over here manhandling me? Stop, Stop it. Please. Look at your Stop hair in her eyes. I'm not Stop trying it. to it's do true. that. Why would I put I'm my not. pony hair in your face? I don't want your pony hair in my face. Man, y'all some marks. Keep that to yourself. What's she getting arrested for? She left her kids in the car while she was um, gambling inside the casino. <laughs> yeah, it's like Dottie's little casino bar. Wow. How old are the kids? Two and four. I need it before I get loose from her. No, what Guess what she did? She left her four-year-old and her two-year-old in the car while she was in a casino gambling. Awesome. They were in there for a little over an hour. And with our 100 degree heat, why are you screaming for the police to come help them? Did you help them? Did you help them? They're your kids. Did you? Why are you mad at us? You're the one that abandoned and them. And they mine. And they mine. So you can leave them in a car and like a freaking animal. And they, they mine. mine. Now what? Not anymore. Now they state owns them. We're done here. Watch your feet, please. Yes, ma'am. And please don't step on my toe. I got a key. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. Break it. How does your hair come out? Did you buy it? Please don't do that, officer. Hold your head still. Put your knees up on the bench. Get up on your knees. Is that a supervisor here? You're about to break my ribs. Well, we'll let you go if you just hold still until that door I'm not even resisting. Y'all so pulling you understand? on me. So that, yes, you understand. I don't understand. You so you understand. don't understand anything. I'm prone around the floor. Lay down on the ground. Get all the way down. All the way down. Flat Lay down. Your Pull your feet out. Do you see how they put my hair out, supervisor? All right, you're going to stay just like this until Not we moving, leave. Ma'am. Oh, shoot. Oh, she was stubborn. I want all that to my belongings. OK. Don't worry. All right. Okay. So we have to take the clips out of their hair and the extra hair pieces that are in there. Some of them pass it off to other inmates and they can change their appearance. And whatever we find up in their hair clips, that's contraband. That can hurt somebody. Right over here, okay? Right over there. Okay, have a seat. Lean forward, flip your hair forward. Run your fingers through your hair as if you're shampooing. Now, does your hair come out? Just the clips. Okay, grab the clips. <laughs> That's all of it? You going bald? No, I'm a girl. Oh, the style. You're kind of fake, aren't you? I'm not fake personality wise. I'm all fake right. a lot of my body, yeah. Come on over here, let's get your tattoos. Nothing else? No. What does that say? The latest night in two temptation. Got them everywhere. You don't have anything gang on you, do you? I'm a blood. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> totally kidding, you guys. Yeah, I know. We didn't see any on there. Come on over here. Sit on the girl side, which is the right hand side. You don't do anything without raising your hand. Listen for your name to be called. You understand? Yeah. Can I use the phone right now? Um, you may. Just listen for your name, okay? Because people might start calling you right away. So listen for your name as you're on the phone, okay? Thank you. All right, you're welcome. She's never been here before for prostitution, but, you know, she was a willing participant in the game and got to say no. Unfortunately, she said yes, and now she's here. It's been a few hours since Bakita came into custody, so I'm going to walk back here and talk to her just to see if she's calmed down a little bit. And it looks like she's still sitting up just like she was last time. Makita, do you know why you're here? Do you know what he's charging you with? No, I don't care. You don't care? How many kids do you have? Zero. You have zero kids? 
I couldn't remember if you said you had two or three. That's why I was asking you. Y'all yeah, don't care. I don't care about nothing, so it don't matter. Well, you have to understand our point of view. When you come in upset like that, you we have to get, you've got to calm down. I was running my mouth. I wasn't in here swinging on y'all or none of that. So how y'all give me? She's still kind of in denial about her situation and how she came in. So it looks like she's going to have to stay back here for just a little bit longer to calm down, have a cool down period. I like, just don't think she'll quite make it out there in the open lobby with the other inmates. Okay, Vakita, thank you. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids.